good morning and welcome okay good morning good evening good afternoon maybe you're listening to me at any one of those moments in time on these episodes on this life as signatures a podcast thank you so much for joining and uh, this is a live okay a virtual incubator for purpose for productivity and for resilience we talk about those three things a lot and in between we also talk about other stuff that are related to those three things purpose productivity and resilience and you find us in the middle of a series which we just started yesterday the title of that series is two major things we can learn from elon musk about becoming the wealthiest man in the world this happened in the year 2021 when he became the wealthiest man in the entire universe so what can we learn from this guy that's what we're talking about in these episodes so today we're going to look at one more thing so stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I want to start by doing what I did yesterday, giving you a quote, okay? I, I thought that quote was really powerful, and this quote is attributed. Actually, it comes from Victor E. Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning. There's some kind of connection between uh, pursuit of happiness, pursuit of success, and this meaning in there. Which one comes first? Do you find meaning after becoming a millionaire? Do you find meaning after becoming happy? Do you find meaning and then these things happen? You see, we're talking about what we can learn from Elon Musk about becoming the wealthiest man on earth and what transpired and how he reacted to it, to the news himself and so on. What are some of the lessons we can be able to draw from that? But at the end of the day, we are looking at this thing from that particular angle. And I think if you don't get anything from this series, get this quote. This quote is not from Elon Musk. This quote is for Victor E. Frankl. He says, and I quote, For success like happiness cannot be pursued. It must ensue. And it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. And quote. So in the year 2021, it's announced that Elon Musk has become the richest man in the world, surpassing Jeff Bezos. We talked about that yesterday. But here is a list of January 2021 at the top 10 wealthiest people. The first person, Elon Musk, worth $195 billion. The second man, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, worth $185 billion. Third person, Bill Gates, Microsoft, worth $134 billion. By the way, this guy has given like, I don't know how much. If you added what he's given away, anyway, let me not go there. 
Bernard Arnold worth $116 billion. That's number four. Number five, Mark Zuckerberg. Will you believe it? $102 billion. Number six, Zong Shantan worth $93.1 billion. Did I say shilling somewhere? Forgive me. And then number seven, Warren Buffett, $88.2 billion. Number eight, Larry Page of Google, $83.6 billion. And then, of course, number nine, Sajay Brin of Google at $81 billion. And Larry Ellison of Google at $80 billion. If you looked at this list, this list of 10 people, ask yourself this one question. And that's why, by the way, sometimes some of us will qualify to talk about these things because we research. Okay? We gather information and now we can talk about that information. We become experts through research because we care about that particular topic. So I think I'm qualified to talk about this millionaire stuff. <laughs> anyway. What makes this guy tick? If you ask yourself that question, what makes this guy tick? When you take some time to study any one of these people, even the Oprah Winfrey's who are nowhere near top 100 wealthiest people, or the um, Tony Robbins who are nowhere near the top 500 wealthiest people, the question is, what makes these people tick? They are the same. Some of these guys... It's just a matter of one zero added to their net worth. But they are literally the same. One of the things that you'll need to identify, and I want to talk about this today and maybe tomorrow, just one thing. Because remember, we're talking about the two major things about uh, we can learn from Elon Musk. One of the things you will learn, and I'm going to demonstrate this to you, is that wealth is a byproduct. We make a big mistake when we say we are going to directly pursue wealth. You see, where the problem with that is, I'm going to talk about this today and tomorrow, where the problem with that is, is that there are a million ways to become wealthy, including doing things that you don't care about. You can put a gun on someone's head and they transfer money in Bitcoin to your account. You become wealthy. Right? You can rob a bank. <laughs> Sorry. There are some unethical things that you can do. There are some things that you can do that are not connected to what you love doing. There are some things you can do that don't contribute into society and so on. Don't care about things. That's why people are scammed a lot. The reason, the number one reason why we are always being scammed, and these scams, they never end. People never learn. You know why people never learn? Because they have never changed the object of their pursuit. The object of their pursuit is money. We wake up in the morning and that's the thing on our mind, money. It is important because we, we do our lives, money is currency. We need to pay bills, right? We need to make a living, so to speak. And therefore, we operate in currency, as in we pay these things with money. The pressure for money is just too much. So much so, ladies and gentlemen, that we care little about purpose. We don't care, we don't give a hoot about purpose at all. All we do is to look for avenues where money is. We look for the simplest avenues. Someone will say, okay, I gotta got get a job. And so we get jobs. Others will say, I, um, uh, I gotta got become an, an entrepreneur. And therefore, they start looking at ideas, this, this idea, and so on. There is money in that idea. Others will say, I'm going to take my kid to school. I, rem I never forget this. When my father took me to college, he asked this question, is, are there jobs with this course he is taking? Our, our pursuit is money. 
But if you study these wealthy people, you realize one thing. For some reason, either their parents had the money, I don't know, they, I don't know if they, among those ten that I've mentioned, there is a rags to riches story. I have no idea. I don't know. But for the most part, these guys, they did not pursue wealth to become wealthy. One hundred and eighty percent, they did not pursue wealth itself directly. They did a Victor E. Frankel quote that money or wealth or success must ensue as a byproduct. It is a byproduct of doing something else. That's the first lesson we learn. And I'm going to demonstrate to this to you tomorrow on Elon Musk's response. Money or wealth is a byproduct. And by the way, I've, I've always taught this. If you write the word money and you write the word value, they are equal in lettering. Okay, someone might say, oh, what does that mean? I'm just trying to demonstrate, ladies and gentlemen, that whatever money it is that is in your pocket, it was exchanged for value. Period. So instead of focusing on the money, we need to focus on value. Once you have value locked in, either you are a valuable person because you are skilled and you can be employed, money is going to follow that. Or you have this valuable idea that does wonderful things like Facebook, money is going to be tagged onto it. Value is what we need to be pursuing, not money. That's what I'm learning. Okay, I'm not telling you to do that. If you want to pursue money and become wealthy, I am. I'm, listen, I'm not going to stop anyone. I'm just saying what can we learn from these wealthy people. And one of the things I'm learning is they don't pursue money. Money is a byproduct. Tomorrow, we we'll continue from there. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.